Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Dreamcast games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need for today's video is come to this link. Links as always are in the description down below. And this is going to be for the free emulator we're using in today's video called RetroArch. What you need to do is come to this link, come to the download section right here, and we're going to be downloading the latest stable build. I'd suggest just downloading whatever the latest version is at the time you're watching this. For me right now, it's 1.9.0. Or if you have a specific operating system, come down a little bit further and download whatever version best suits you. Once RetroArch is downloaded and installed, you should be met with this screen. What we're going to be doing from this point is coming to the main menu here on the top left. We're going to be coming in and clicking on the load core option and here we will see a list of all currently downloaded and installed cores on our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is coming down here to the download a core option. We're going to be clicking this open and here we'll see a list of all currently available cores that you can download for RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling all the way down until we see Sega-Dreamcast slash Naomi or in brackets Flycast. This is going to be the Sega Dreamcast core we're going to be using with our emulator in today's video. To download this we simply left click or click A on our controller. Some text will appear at the bottom left and then your core should be installed. You'll know your core is fully installed once you see this blue hashtag on the right hand side. From this point we can back out of here by right clicking on your mouse or clicking B on your controller. We're then going to be clicking on the load core option again and now we're going to be selecting the core that we just downloaded. For me it's right here, Flycast. If I select this our core will now be set up and ready to go inside RetroArch. We'll know our core is fully set up if we look down here in the bottom left. We'll see our current RetroArch version and we'll see the name of the core that we currently have loaded into RetroArch. From this point we're ready to talk about games and I will mention in today's video I'm not going to be showing you where to download games. Although games are really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out or you can dump some existing games you already have for the dreamcast again i won't be showing that in today's video but again a quick google search will help you out here so most likely when you download your games they will come in a dot 7 zip or a dot rare format in this case my game today sonic adventure 2 is in a dot rare format and sadly we can't load these file types inside retroarch directly so we are going to have to extract these file types before we can actually play them to extract these games we will need an extra software either winrar or 7 zip in today's video i'm going to be using 7 zip although the process is very similar for WinRare and I'll be leaving both of these applications linked in the description down below. To extract our games what we need to do is right click, hover over 7-zip and then simply click extract files. We will then get this pop-up, we simply click OK on this and then our extraction process will begin. Now depending on your PC and the size of the game this can take a couple seconds to extract so you might have to be a little bit patient here and after it's extracted if we can come inside this and we'll see our game has been extracted into a .cdi file and that's exactly what we need for our Dreamcast emulator. So once your games are downloaded and extracted we're ready to come back over to RetroArch. Again, what we're going to be doing is coming to the main menu. We're going to begin down here and this time we're going to be selecting load content. If we select this open, now what we're going to have to do from this point is locate to where we just downloaded and extracted our games. So I currently have my Sonic Adventure 2.cdi file right here. All we need to do now is select this file and then our game will start to load up. From this point, you can feel free to scale and resize your window. One nice thing about this emulator is in RetroArch, it will actually keep the original aspect ratio. So we don't have to worry about any weird distortion if we upgrade this window. And right away, we'll be playing Sega Dreamcast. Dreamcast games on our PC. If you'd like to change any settings in RetroArch while your game is running, what we can do is come up to the top left right here, click on command, and here we have a couple different options including audio options, disk options, save state options, or if we come down a little bit further we can click the menu toggle which is going to open up a full dedicated RetroArch menu, and if we scroll down here a little bit we will have a specific options menu where we can get core specific options, and a few other things we can feel free to experiment around with that can really customize this emulator and make it exactly what you want. To get out of this menu what we need to do is come back to the main menu, Menu, click on the quick menu, click resume, and then your game will start to load up again. Now sadly this is the only core available on RetroArch for Sega Dreamcast games, although it does seem to perform pretty well. However, it does mean if you're having any issues trying to run a certain game or application with this core, there is no alternative core or method you can try, this is the best you can do. Now I will mention you will want a somewhat decent PC to be able to run this, you don't just want to be running this on a really old laptop or desktop, you will need something relatively powerful to get a good playable frame rate, so that is something to keep in mind, and it can be one of the reasons that you have slower performance or something like that. However, if you are having any issues, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you when I can. Now, one other thing I would recommend is also connecting up an external controller. It'll help making your game experience a lot better in my opinion and it's always something I recommend when emulating on PC. I won't be showing in today's video how to set up a controller at RetroArch, although it is really, really easy to do and I'll be leaving a link in the description down below to my previous video where I show you how to do that. It's definitely something I'd recommend. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Dreamcast games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.